Mr. Potter, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to penetrate and infiltrate the enemy base and steal the Dark Elixir. Do you choose to accept this challenge? Yes, sir, Tony. I choose to accept. Good boy. I love you. Hadouken! 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 Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new episode for you here today and we are about to have some fun. We are going to go on a Dark Elixir heist using an awesome army. We're going to see what kind of Dark Elixir we can find up here inside of the Master 3 League. And we're going to see if we can use Mr. Putter and his little special abilities to take down those Dark Elixir storages and of course those drills. So we're not going to waste any time. We are about to get ourselves into a live attack very shortly. Just before we do though, let's show you this awesome replay. Are you ready guys? Are you ready? Boom! 7,103 Dark Elixir, one of the biggest raids I've seen this week so far for Dark Elixir. So the unfortunate thing about this base is, by the way, we don't have our king. We have just upgraded our king to level 23, so the king's down. So the unfortunate thing is that there's loads of Dark Elixir inside of the drills, and they're all spread out across the entire base. So what we're going to have to do... We're just going to have to try to take one drill and, of course, the Dark Elixir storage. And hopefully, we can also get the Town Hall. Let's just see what happens. Don't forget, there is some Dark Elixir inside of the Town Hall. So, we are going to be using the Wizard Army. There is about 18 Wizards, 24 Giants, 1 Pekka, the 2 Heroes, of course, no King this time, 2 Raid Spells, 1 Freeze, and 4 Earthquakes. We've then got a couple of archers and a couple of minions just in case we need them. So here we go, guys. The big ginger beauties are going into the center of the base. Hopefully, we're going to make our way right in towards the core where the Dark Elixir is stationed. So we're going to use a Grand Warden's ability straight away. And here come the little Harry Potters. No! No, I didn't even know that happened. Wow. We got destroyed. Little Harry Potters just got wrecked by that giant big bomb there. But we've made our way into the center. We have already used the rage spells and the free spells. And the Dark Elixir has already been taken out. And it wasn't Mr. Potter. It was the Pekka. So now all we need to do is take down the Town Hall. And hopefully that Inferno Tower by that Eagle Artillery isn't falling. Oh, it looks like we're not going to be able to get a two-star. In fact, we are way, way far away from a two-star. The Eagle Artillery just destroyed my queen. Didn't grab too much of the Elixir, but we got 4,400 Dark Elixir, which isn't too bad. Obviously, the other, like, 3K is inside of those two storages, guys. Well, inside of those two drills, and we're not going to be able to get them, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So there we go. The Eagle Artillery still killing my little baby minions. See you later, minions. We will see you next raid. So let's just go ahead. It's going to end right now, guys. And we got a total of... What did we get? 4,400 Dark Elixir, and I think we got about 500 Dark Elixir loot bonus. So we got a total of about 5k DE, which isn't bad. So yeah, as I said, we are upgrading that king. That king is currently upgrading to level 23, I believe. So don't forget, let me know in that comment section. Loads of you told me yesterday that you want me to gem my heroes to level 30. So we are going to decide that today. If we do decide it, we will be gemming them this weekend, probably Friday and Saturday. It's going to be... I think it will be literally the biggest gem spree inside of uh, YouTube on for Clash of Clans on YouTube. And I think it's going to be the most Dark Elixir ever spent inside of one single video. So don't forget, if you do want to see that, guys, comment down below, hashtag gem the heroes. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in for a second attack using another awesome army. We do need to gem up the rest of the troops, guys. We've got the barracks boosting right now because we do want to make these armies a lot, lot quicker. Hopefully the spells are done. No, ooh, just three gems, not bad. And then the heroes should be almost done as well. Well, the queen. Yep, the queen's done. The Grand Warden's ready. We have the entire army ready. Is war started? No, nope, not yet. So, oh, by the way, guys, let me know if you want to see some more war videos as well. So here we go. We're going to see if we can find another massive Dark Elixir raid. We will be back when there's at least four and a half thousand sitting inside of a base. Oh my god, we have just landed on a gold mine, guys. We just hit the jackpot. All of the defenses are down. The Inferno Towers, the Expos are out of ammo. And of course, there's not going to be a clan castle and hopefully no traps. And the storages on the bloody collectors. Even the storages must have a little bit of loot inside of them. Yeah. Wow, what a base. What a base. So once again, the bloody Dark Elixir drills are so spread out. Wow. 
they're spread out across the entire map, so we're going to have to try and be smart here. We're going to drop the Earthquake spells here to see if we can open up quite a few of these compartments. Now, this is a very, very good Town Hall 10. I mean, he's got, like, very high-level walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and pick off some of these buildings just using some of our troops. Here we go. Should be able to get a couple of minions in there and grab that gold storage. The queen, quite a high-level queen, could cause me a few problems. So what we're going to do to begin with... This is going to be very interesting, this raid, actually. What we're going to do to start off with... Oh, no, I have no more minions. Oh, shite. All right, no more minions, guys. But we got the uh, we got the uh, the wall breakers broken down that wall already. So we're going to use three wall breakers there. Please don't target my wall breakers. Go away. Oh, you silly little buggers. There we go, guys. Going to drop in another one. Just one wall breaker, please. Yes, okay. We got the wall open. That's okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with two giants here. So we've dropped in some of these giants, and we're trying to get that loot from Harry. Harry, please. Harry, do it for Tony. Harry. I know you can do it, Harry. Harry, don't be... Yeah! There we go, guys. He's getting it for me. There we go. We got one of them down. So we're going to attack now. We are about to go balls deep inside of this base. Just before we do, can we, can we like, snatch some of those? I think we can get some. If we drop in that and just drop in two or three wizards, go in with one more giant. Actually, go in with another giant. Oh, my God. We're wasting so many of our troops here. We're not going to use any more. We're going to use the two archers, guys. But we got it. We got loads of the loot. So now we're ready to go right deep inside of the base. Here we go. We've only got eight wizards left. We used so many of our wizards. I don't know how this is going to go. But thankfully, the Inferno Tower obviously isn't up. So it shouldn't be too hard. So we're going to use the Grand Warden's ability because that bloody, uh, that wizard tower was doing a lot of damage to my base. And now we're going to drop a free spell just on those Teslas there. Just so they can't do too much damage to my P.E.K.K.A. Come on, Aries, get into the base. We need to take out those stupid little Teslas. There we go. The P.E.K.K.A.'s taken one down. Take out the other one. And there it goes. So we need to take out that Queen. Hopefully the P.E.K.K.A.'s going to go for the Queen. But we're going to get the Dark Elixir. It looks like that Harry's are going to land on the Dark Elixir. There we go. Going to send in those wall breakers. Here comes some more reinforcements from Mr. Potter. We need to take out the enemy Queen. Come on. Come on, Queen. Queen against Queen. There we go. That is it. We just, we just slaughtered the Queen. And we're going to be able to take out the Inferno Tower. Wow. We've got all of the Dark Elixir. Oh, there's only a 1,000 Dark Elixir left, but it's on the other side of the base. But we're up to 62%. I didn't think I was going to get this much damage on the base, to be honest. Because we spread out and used way too many wizards at the start. But yeah, we got quite a lot of the loot. All we need is that one Elixir Drill there. Can we get the Elixir Drill? Is the Queen... Yes, the Queen! I love you, Queen! She grabbed the Elixir for us, and she's taken out the Mortar, guys. We just passed 70%, meaning... We are going to get 100% loot bonus, so let's end it there. What did we get? Wow! We got close to or just over a million in loot, including the loot bonus, and close to 5,000 more Dark Elixir. So there it is. That is the end of the episode. The Dark Elixir heist was definitely a success. We got, what, 5, 10,000 Dark Elixir inside of two single raids. That means we're already up to 37,000 Dark Elixir once again. Don't forget, if you want me to gem those heroes to level 30, comment down below. Hashtag gem the heroes. We will be back very, very shortly with another one, guys. I love you all. Have a great day. Peace out.